It's only one loss among so many. But Israel's killing of Wael Dadu's son echoes across the airways of the Arab world and beyond. As Al Jazeera's Gaza bureau chief, Wael has long been a witness to Gaza's struggles. Lately, he's become a symbol of its sorrows. He was chivalrous, he was generous, he was tender. But Well hasn't just endured this one loss. Well's wife, his grandson, his younger son, and his daughter were all killed in an Israeli airstrike in October. How can someone accept the death of his son after losing other family members, he said. Hamza, an Al Jazeera journalist like his father, was killed in an Israeli airstrike in southern Gaza, along with two other reporters. Yet even after his latest tragedy, Well was back on the air just hours later. We will continue, he says, as long as we're alive. Israel says they don't target journalists, but according to the Committee to Protect Journalists, more than 70 reporters have been killed in Gaza so far. Journalists are facing a massacre, a bloodbath in Gaza, Weil said. This is a horrific number in even the worst war. The sounds of Israel's assault on Gaza have been deafening. But when a journalist dies, the only sound left is silence. Matt Bradley, NBC News, Tel Aviv. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.